Recording artist Cardi B spoke at a rally for U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris in the Milwaukee suburb of West Allis on Friday. Just like Kamala Harris, I, too, have been the underdog, the award-winning recording artist told the crowd. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better and still people question how we got to the top," she added. Harris and former U.S. President Donald Trump hosted rallies within seven miles of each other Friday night in the Milwaukee area as part of a fevered final push for votes in swing state Wisconsin's largest county. Milwaukee is home to the most Democratic votes in Wisconsin, but its conservative suburbs are where most Republicans live and are a critical area for Trump as he tries to reclaim the state he narrowly won in 2016 and lost in 2020. One reason for his defeat was a drop in support in those Milwaukee suburbs and an increase in Democratic votes in the city. to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm going to make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long time. I've been saying it on Twitter, on my Instagram, and I'm ready to tell it to you now. Y'all ready to listen? now. All right. Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. Actress and singer Jennifer Lopez introduced Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris at a Las Vegas rally early Friday that also included a performance by the pop band Mana. Lopez in emotional remarks talked about her background as a Puerto Rican and emphasized the importance of women for the Democratic nominee. Lopez also pushed back at comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, who at Trump's Madison Square Garden rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. You can't even spell American without Rican, she said. This is our country too. Harris, who arrived in Las Vegas after a separate rally in Reno, said she was confident she would win the election. When you know what you stand for, you know what you fight for, she said. She has only ever had one client, you, the people. And in each of those roles, I am an actor and an entertainer, and I like Hollywood endings. I like when the good guy, or in this case, the good girl wins. We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. You can't even spell American without Regan. <laughs> this is our country, too. And we, we must exercise our right to vote on November 5th.
elect to the United States Senate. And we need you to vote Nevada because we have just five days left in one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. And we have work to do, but we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is joyful work. And make no mistake, we will win. 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 Ensure tribal self-determination. And we will win. We will win. Because here's what I believe. When you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. And we all know we have an opportunity in this election to turn the page on a decade of Donald Trump trying to keep us divided and afraid of each other. We're done with that. We're done. We're exhausted with it. And we know that is who he is. That is who he is.